Hello everyone! Today Moying released the next snapshot which involves slime blocks being able to move lots of other blocks and this is really huge and I'm really excited about this and I've attempted to play around with this a little bit. I haven't really found anything. I haven't really been able to do anything that great that other people have been already done. But I thought I'll show you my findings anyways. Unfortunately I still haven't fixed my recording problem so you'll still have to live with low frames per second. I don't know how many videos this will last for. But this is my first thing. Anyways. It is a elevator thing involving the new feature that when a slime block moves up and an entity is on it, it'll move the entity pretty high. I made it go really high but unfortunately it doesn't work very well and I'm scared with my low frame per second. Yeah, I'm not going to go high at all. And it takes a little while for it to shut off too. And this is the main focus of the video. It's Even though it doesn't work that great, I've gotten it to get to the top a couple times, but for the most part... Yeah, here we go, it's going a little higher. Yeah, for the most part it's... Oh, no, it doesn't work too well, but... Part of the cool thing behind this is the way I wired up the redstone and that is using the other feature of slime blocks since they can now stick to things let's just go ahead and push this and look around kind of see that each of these segments if you look closely are kind of moving individually and then yeah here they're now all retracting that is what I used to do to the redstone and let's just take a quick real, a closer look here so this piston will get fired from the last segment It'll push all these slime blocks up, pushing these two redstone blocks up. This redstone block will power this redstone dust, powering the piston once it moves over here. Along with one tick later, this redstone block will move up, and then powering this a couple ticks later, which will make this piston move out. And since the sticky piston block is connected to this, it'll move that out too. And yeah, it continues like this, and then this signal just goes here and repeats the pattern to the next segment. And that's all there is to this. It's... Maybe on a better computer it'll work, I'm not sure. I've After building this, I saw that Zuma on his Zuma Void on his channel came out with a video which also had an uh, elevator similar to this, except uh, Ease built it, and I'm not sure if it has the same problem as mine because they only built about three segments of it. It probably doesn't. But that is the main thing I've been working on. I do have a couple other findings I'd like to show in this video also. Now here's one. It's a bug I found which I found to be really interesting. And I maybe this has been lasting for more than one snapshot though. But check that out. I am pushing... Oh. Yeah, well, I'm pushing the ender crystal. It doesn't look like it's pushing this way. I think it used to be, though. But yeah, I'm pushing the ender crystal around, and I thought it was pretty funny. I found this by trying to see if the ender crystal will bounce with the slime blocks when a slime block pushes it. And instead, I found out that I was pushing the ender crystal no matter what block was under it. And so, that's pretty interesting. Maybe for Tango Tech, that, he could find that useful for. I think he had an ender crystal left in his survival world. Here's another just fun little derpy thing. If we take a fishing rod and we hook it here, let's get that hooked better. And we step on this. Oh, it didn't work. Let's see if we can get this better. Now I'll know what's going to happen, but. Oh, it's not working very well. Well, before it was flying up. You can try it on your own world. Let's see if we can just try this one more time. Yeah. Oh, there we go. So that's fun. Also, a bug I found. It seems that if you put down an item frame, it crashes the world. So, don't do that. And then here's me trying to work with Sam, seeing if I could get Sam to bounce. Sithling got Sam to bounce, I couldn't. So I'll look on his channel for that. But, yeah, it visually does for a second, and then that's it. So that's everything I've found so far. Maybe I'll play around with this some more and stuff. I'm really excited about this. 
You guys go have fun too. Oop. And see you later.